Hey, my name is George. I'm the manager at Taqueria Teddy, and you are watching the East Daily Download. This is the East Daily Download. And welcome to the East Daily Download. My name is Mark. I will be your tour guide on this adventure across the East. It's a little windy today as we're walking outside, uh, so bear with me for the moment. I try to adjust my body to block the wind. Uh, but uh, we have some very exciting things to talk about. Uh, it is Thursday, and that means that tomorrow on Friday, American Cancer Society's Relay for Life kick off. And we're really excited to partner up with them again this year. We'll talk about uh, Real Men Wear Pink later on. That'll be in October. But more stuff to come from the American Cancer Society. And it's a great organization. We've all been affected by cancer, whether it's a friend, a family, loved one, coworker. And uh, it's our way to be able to do something to help out, to raise money, raise awareness. And so I'm in training for walking more. So I figured, hey, I walk from the station to Kinston and make it there by tomorrow. Uh, maybe that's not completely believable. I might have a support vehicle. Who's to say? The point is, we're making the effort. That's what's important here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep walking. Uh, why don't you check the story out if you would, and uh, I'll meet you somewhere else down, somewhere else down the line. Down the, down, well, it's not down the road. It's down the, I need my little knapsack with uh, the little stick with the little bag over the back, you know, as I'm walking away. Anyway, check the story out. See you in a little bit here on these data downloads. Well, temperatures in North Carolina have definitely been rising. And while that's something that I love, a lot of people might not be familiar with some of the animals that might start coming out with this warm weather. So today on the East Daily Download, we're welcoming Jeff Hall, who is with the North Carolina Wildlife Resources Commission. Thank you so much for being here today, Jeff. Thank you for uh, asking me on. I'm glad to be here. So that's something I wanted to talk about, reptiles and amphibians. If you're walking on the trail, you might see something kind of slithering through the path there, but it might not necessarily be a snake and you might not need to be scared. So I was wondering if you could talk about some of those differences and then advice on what to do if you do encounter a snake in that type of thing. Sure. Sure, you know, a lot of us, um, well, ever since COVID-19 came along, a lot of us have uh, used that opportunity to be outside more when we couldn't necessarily go to the movie theater or the restaurant that we like to go to. You know, a lot of people have turned to the outdoors and a lot of people enjoy various types of wildlife that they might encounter, maybe songbirds, or maybe they see some gray squirrels or things like that. You know, they, they're always, it's our, our white-tailed deer, they're excited to see those types of wildlife. Well, I encourage people to think about all of the species that might be in the woods as part of that same wildlife encounter, right? And so when you're out walking a trail somewhere, you just need to be aware that there could be any of those species that call North Carolina home uh, available and you know possibly out there. And similarly, although a little bit more difficult for some people to think about, that snake is also pretty interesting. So let's say there's a, happens to be a rat snake on your path as you're walking along. If you just stop a minute and give that animal time and space, time and space is always really valuable for any wildlife encounter. And if you can provide that, that animal will keep going about its business and it will leave you completely alone. Um, so, you know, that's, a, that's an easy thing to do is just to, to be aware, be observant when you're out uh, wherever you're gonna be and to allow wildlife to just do whatever it needs to do. <laughs> the WNCT9 mobile app just got a sweet makeover. The all new look gets you the content you want faster than ever before. From news to weather to video and special features, it's all at your fingertips. Plus, customize the alerts you want for breaking news that matters to you. Just update your existing WNCT9 in your side app to get the latest version or download the app here.
Hey, welcome back to the East Daily Download. We are getting ready for the American Cancer Society to kick off Relay for Life. East Daily Download is a proud sponsor of that along with WNCT, not on your side. We really want to encourage you to get involved in the event. You can find out about it on their website. Also, there's a mobile app that you can learn more about it from. A lot of great information for you. Okay, uh, I'm gonna keep walking. My goal is to get, I'm in Winterville right now, and my goal is to make it to Kinston by tomorrow. It's a lot of walking to get ready for Relay. Oh, well you know, um, this looks really good. I'm a little hungry. Maybe we should stop, stop take a lunch break right now. That, that sounds like a good idea to me. Just to get the energy going, to get back out on the road, to keep walking, to get training. And uh, these are our friends who we featured on Down Eats before. It's a great uh, local place here in Winterville for tacos. Hey, Bryce, do you want something? Yeah, Bryce did the Down Eats, so yeah, she knows all about this. So uh, come check it out. It's on the corner here in uh, Winterville. I'm not sure what the intersection is because I don't see street signs right here, but it's here. It's easy to find next to the railroad tracks. Uh, I'm going to go in and get something. Why don't we check out this next story? I'll be back and I'll be somewhere else on my continued journey as we get ready for Relay for Life with the American Cancer Society. And it's going to go all summer long. See you soon. Now downloading conversations with. As far as people like me or anybody who wants to uh, participate in Relay for Life, how, where do they need to go to find out that information, how they can get involved and create a team, or if there's a live event in their area, where do they need to go to find that information? So um, they can always go to relayforlife.org. I mean, I think that's the best place to go. Um, you can key in exactly what location you're looking for, and yeah. it'll tell you the local event in that particular place. Um, but however, um, you know, we send out emails all the time. So hopefully they're already receiving emails from their local events. But um, once they key that information in um, from RelayForLife.org, then they are able to just go to that local page um, from that particular particular place. But here in East North Carolina, we have roughly 10 events. So okay. hopefully there is one event here that they'll say, you know what, this is the place for me. And they'll just hop into that particular event. But of course they can reach out to me. <laughs> How would they do that? Sure. So um, they can give me a call. It's 252-314-5740 or um, benita.dunham at cancer.org. What do I need to know about participating in a, or in a virtual event? Of course, you won't be with a lot of people, but you will be with the people from your household. Um, and you can join in any capacity from your computer, from your tablet, from your phone. I do a lot from my phone. Um, and I mean, I think it, it's really great I mean, yeah. you can just dive into um, whatever is happening and you don't have to miss a beat. You can take your phone with you wherever you're going. But we are looking for um, different activities to keep people engaged for that 24 hours because we do yeah. want people to participate in that 24 hours. So we're looking for Zumba. Um, we're looking for a lot of different things that we can do possibly during that time frame. So just know that, you know, it's 24 hours of um, excitement and 24 hours for you to really be engaged. So just consider that, um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Mask, hand sanitizer, we check temperatures. Um, I feel like we did a lot last year and we are planning to roll that into this year because once you've done it one time, then you know you kind of know. But we're really excited about that this year. It's just making sure that you know everybody is safe, but then also making sure that we help everyone to feel safe. Now downloading Salute to the East.
We'll be right back with more local stories on the East Daily Download. Hey, welcome back to the East Daily Download. We're still in Winterville, still walking, practicing for Relay for Life, getting the legs ready. Woo! Yeah, I don't actually know where we are. We just kind of appeared in this park, and actually, we're at a baseball diamond on the uh, grass in the outfield, so I'm not sure how that happened. Anyway, um, what do we want to talk about? Relay for Life, but the luminarias that they have uh, at the events often have a name on them of a family member or friend that has been lost or just in support of them. Also, can have inspirational messages on them. And when you make a donation to have one of these, that money helps to fund the American Cancer Society and their research and their fight against cancer. So it's a really cool looking thing, has a great message to it, and you do some good. So it's like win, win, win. There's a lot of wins involved with this one. Raise some awareness, raise some funds for a great cause, American Cancer Society. So I'm gonna keep walking. I don't know where I'll be the next time you see me. I guess we'll find out together. My name is Anna Dixon, and I teach aerial yoga, breath work, and pranayama at Purple Blossom Yoga Studio here in Greenville, North Carolina. And I'm here today um, to speak with you about breath and a particular de-stressing breath that you can do at any point throughout the day. Now, oftentimes when you're stressed, people say, take a deep breath, and then you go, <sighs> And the thing is, that type of fast, deep breath actually reflects a more stressed nervous system, but it doesn't really change it. Um, so our breath is amazing. Unconsciously, it reflects the state of our nervous system, um, but consciously, it's an amazing tool that we have to change the state of our nervous system. And what I'm going to teach you right now is how to actually change the state of your nervous system from a fight, flight, stress mode to a rest, digest, calm mode. So let's begin. We'll start with what's called a physiological sigh. So take an inhale, pause, and then take one more inhale on top of that. And then allow the breath to softly come out like a parachute softly landing. And allow your breath to normalize. So this physiological sigh actually helps to re-inflate the air sacs in the lungs, making them more efficient. Let's do that one more time. Take an inhale, pause, and then inhale again, fully expanding the ribs in all directions to a degree that feels good to you, and then slowly exhale. Now that's the first part of the de-stressing breath. The second part involves pulling the navel towards the spine. That engages what's called your transverse abdominis, which is the antagonist to your diaphragm, your main breathing muscle. And when you engage the transverse abdominis, you help to relax the diaphragm, making it more efficient. Um, so let's try pulling navel towards the spine on an exhale. Catch the wave of an inhale. And then exhale, pulling navel towards the spine to a degree that feels comfortable to you. That can be a small squeeze or a super strong squeeze. And then when you're done, release that and do a three-part breath. Let the breath start in the belly and then rise up the torso, perhaps all the way to the clavicles, and then settling back down. Let's add those two things together. Catch the wave of an inhale, pause, inhale again, touch the gentle peak, and then slow exhale, pulling navel towards the spine. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze as much as feels good to you. Release, let the breath come in, Take a nice, easy, slow three-part breath and exhale. How do you feel? If you want to learn more of these techniques and dive into your yoga practice, check out www.purpleblossayogastudio.com. We have many classes in studio and online and when the weather is warm, out in the park as well.
What are online originals? Local stories. City officials are celebrating the opening of the city's first marina. Local documentaries. In Kinston, North Carolina is G.I. Joe's Military Living History Museum. Special features. Meet Tarboro's tennis star, Miss B. Burnett. Behind the scenes. I took a trip around Onslow County to learn more about its deep history. Everything you need at your fingertips. WNCT.com online originals. Club members get in for free Sunday through Thursday, so make sure you sign your kids up at WoodDucksBaseball.com. Yes. The way we communicate with each other changed almost overnight. It might be hard for us to communicate with each other right now, but it's our responsibility to communicate with you. Start your day with Not On Your Side Morning Edition. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the East Daily Download. As always, thank you for joining us. We truly appreciate it. We know you have a ton of choices for your television programming, and the fact that you choose us means the world to us, whether it's at WNCT.com under the Download tab or the WNCT mobile app, which is free, Google Play in the App Store, and you can watch the show there, or on Eastern North Carolina CW at noon. Any way you want to go, we appreciate it. Um, now, we are wrapping up today's walk. Still in Winterville, still have a little ways to go to get to Kinston by the end of tomorrow. Uh, but, you know, we couldn't help but end the show right here because these fountains, it's very picturesque, sounds nice, the water. I'm getting a little sleepy actually by being over here. Plus, I had the lunch, you know, with the tacos. Check that place out, it's really good. Um, but hey, quick reminder Relay for Life kicks off. It's going to go all summer long. Last year, it was a much more virtual experience. This year you can be involved with it. We want you to do that. Find out how. Go to the website. Find out how you can get involved. There's also an app. Get the information. Go there. Check it out. Get involved in your local communities. Support Relay for Life. There's so many good programs that they provide. 
And again, just from me to all of you, if something doesn't seem right, if you don't feel right, go to the doctor, get checked out. You know, the COVID, uh, the pandemic has kind of slowed a lot of people from going to the doctor down. We don't want that to be the case anymore. We want you to get checked out if that's what needs to happen because we don't want to lose anybody. Okay, uh, I'm going to go keep walking and uh, I guess tomorrow we'll pick this up and see where we are, okay? Have a great day, everybody. Relay for Life starts Friday afternoon and goes throughout the summer. Don't forget and check out the website to get all the information. I'll see you later. Friday on the East Daily Download, we'll have a Fashion Friday coming your way. Plus, we'll wrap up our Conversations With series with the American Cancer Society. That's Friday right here on the East Daily Download on Eastern North Carolina CW.